In information theory, Shannon's source coding theorem or noiseless coding theorem establishes the limits to possible data compression and the operational meaning of the Shannon entropy. The source coding theorem shows that in the limit as the length of a stream of independent and identically distributed random variable i i d data tends to infinity, it is impossible to compress the data such that the code rate average number of bits per symbol is less than the Shannon entropy of the source without it being virtually certain that information will be lost. However, it is possible to get the code rate arbitrarily close to the Shannon entropy with negligible probability of loss. The source coding theorem for symbol codes places an upper and a lower bound on the minimal possible expected length of code words as a function of the entropy of the input word which is viewed as a random variable and of the size of the target alphabet. Topic: <laughs> Statements Source coding is a mapping from a sequence of symbols from an information source to a sequence of alphabet symbols usually bits such that the source symbols can be exactly recovered from the binary bits lossless source coding or recovered within some distortion lossy source coding this is the concept behind data compression topic <laughs> source coding theorem In information theory, the source coding theorem Shannon 1948 informally states that Mackay 2003, pg. 81 cover 2006, chapter 5 N i, i, d, random variables each with entropy h x can be compressed into more than n h x bits with negligible risk of information loss, as n infinity, but conversely, if they are compressed into fewer than n h x bits it is virtually certain that information will be lost. Source coding theorem for symbol codes Let σ1, σ2 denote two finite alphabets and let σ1 and σ2 denote the set of all finite words from those alphabets respectively. Suppose that x is a random variable taking values in σ1 and let f be a uniquely decodable code from σ1 to σ2 where, σ2, equals a. Let s denote the random variable given by the length of codeword f x. If f is optimal in the sense that it has the minimal expected word length for x, then Shannon 1948 h x log 2 or esh x log 2 or plus 1 display style frac h x log underscore 2 a leq math b e s. Topic proof source coding theorem. Given x is an i, i, d, source, its time series 10 1 xn is i, i, d, with entropy h x in the discrete-valued case and differential entropy in the continuous-valued case. The source coding theorem states that for any epsilon greater than 0, i.e. for any rate h x plus epsilon larger than the entropy of the source, there is large enough n and an encoder that takes n i, i, d, repetition of the source, x1, n, and maps it to n h x plus epsilon binary bits such that the source symbols x1, n are recoverable from the binary bits with probability at least 1 minus epsilon. Proof of achievability Fix some epsilon greater than zero and let p x one x n equals p r x one equals x one x n equals x n Display style p x underscore one l dots x underscore n equals p r left x underscore one equals x underscore one c d o t s x underscore n equals x underscore n right. 
The typical set, A epsilon n, is defined as follows, A n epsilon equals x1, xn, minus 1 n log p x1, xn, minus h n x, epsilon, display style A underscore n carrot ver epsilon equals left x underscore 1, c d o t s x underscore n left frac 1 n log p x underscore 1, c d o t s x underscore n h underscore n x right, the asymptotic equipartition property AEP shows that for large enough n, the probability that a sequence generated by the source lies in the typical set, a epsilon n, as defined approaches 1. In particular, for sufficiently large n p x 1 x 2 x n element of a n epsilon Display style p x underscore one x underscore two c d o t s x underscore n in a underscore n caret ver epsilon can be made arbitrarily close to one and specifically greater than one minus epsilon display style one ver epsilon c a e p for a proof. The definition of typical sets implies that those sequences that lie in the typical set satisfy 2 minus n h x plus epsilon p x 1 x n 2 minus n H x minus epsilon display style two carrot n h x plus ver epsilon l e q p left x underscore one c d o t s x underscore n right l e q two carrot n h x ver epsilon. Note that the probability of a sequence x one x two X N Display style x underscore one x underscore two C D O T S X underscore N being drawn from A epsilon N is greater than one minus epsilon A N Epsilon two N H X plus Epsilon Display style left are underscore n carrot ver epsilon right leq two carrot n h x plus ver epsilon, which follows from the left hand side lower bound for p x one x two x n display style p x underscore one x underscore two c d o t s x underscore n a n epsilon 1 minus epsilon 2 n h x minus epsilon Display style left are underscore n carrot ver epsilon right geq 1 ver epsilon 2 carrot n h x ver epsilon which follows from upper bound for p x 1 x 2 x n display style p x underscore 1 x underscore 2 c d o t s x underscore n and the lower bound on the total probability of the whole set a epsilon n since a n epsilon 2 n h x plus epsilon n h x plus epsilon display style left are underscore n carrot ver epsilon right leq 2 carrot n h x plus ver epsilon n h x plus ver epsilon Bits are enough to point to any string in this set. 
the encoding algorithm, the encoder checks if the input sequence lies within the typical set, if yes, it outputs the index of the input sequence within the typical set, if not, the encoder outputs an arbitrary n H X plus epsilon digit number. As long as the input sequence lies within the typical set with probability at least 1 minus epsilon, the encoder doesn't make any error. So, the probability of error of the encoder is bounded above by epsilon. Proof of converse. The converse is proved by showing that any set of size smaller than a epsilon n in the sense of exponent would cover a set of probability bounded away from 1. Topic. Proof, source coding theorem for symbol codes For 1 i n let c denote the word length of each possible she. Define q i equals a minus s i c Display style q underscore i equals a caret s underscore i c, where c is chosen so that q one plus plus q n equals one. Then h x equals minus i equals one n p i log Two P I minus I equals one N P I log two Q I equals minus I equals one N P I log two a minus s i plus i equals one n p i log two c equals minus I equals one N P I log two a minus S I plus log two C minus I equals one N minus S I P I log two or ES log two a display style begin aligned H X and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I log underscore two P underscore I and L E Q sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I log underscore two Q underscore I and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I log underscore two a carrot S underscore I plus sum underscore I equals one Carrot N P underscore I log underscore two C and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I log underscore two a carrot S underscore I plus log underscore two C and L E Q sum underscore I equals one carrot N S underscore I P underscore I log underscore two and L E Q Math B E S log underscore two a end aligned where the second line follows from Gibbs inequality and the fifth line follows from Cross Crafts inequality c equals i equals one n a minus s i one display style c equals sum underscore i equals one carrot n a carrot s underscore i l e q one so log c zero. For the second inequality, we may set s i equals minus log a p i display style s underscore i equals l c e i l log underscore a p underscore i r seal so that minus log a p i s i minus log a p i plus one display style log underscore a p underscore i l e q s underscore i and so a minus s i p i display style a caret s underscore i l e q p underscore i and a minus s i p i equals one display style sum a caret s underscore i 
leq sum p underscore i equals one, and so by Kraft's inequality, there exists a prefix-free code having those word lengths. Thus, the minimal s satisfies E s equals p i s i p i minus log a p i plus one equals minus p i log two p i log two a. Plus one equals h x log two a plus one. Display style begin aligned math b e s and equals sum p underscore i s underscore i and. Topic extension to non-stationary independent sources. Topic fixed rate lossless source coding for discrete time non stationary independent sources define typical set A epsilon n as A n epsilon equals x one n minus one n log p x one x n minus h n x epsilon display style A underscore n caret ver epsilon equals left x underscore one caret n left frac one n log p left x underscore one c d o t s x underscore n right overline h underscore n x X right then for given delta greater than zero for n large enough p r a epsilon n greater than one minus delta. Now we just encode the sequences in the typical set, and usual methods in source coding show that the cardinality of this set is smaller than two n h n x plus epsilon. Display style two carrot n overline h underscore n x plus ver epsilon. Thus, on an average, h n x plus epsilon bits suffice for encoding with probability greater than one minus delta, where epsilon and delta can be made arbitrarily small by making n larger. Topic. See also. Channel coding Noisy channel coding theorem Error exponent Asymptotic equipartition property AEP